Bobby Bands got this shit booming. Marco did it. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rambo Lee back at y'all with another video. As I as you can see, I'm back wearing my shirt. I haven't worn it in a very long time, but it is what it is. All right, before we get into this video, make sure make sure y'all go below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video. So I'm about to I'm about to give y'all my review on the Super Bowl. All right, let me let me before we get into anything, let me start by saying congratulations to the Chiefs for winning this. What is it, the second straight? But also, congratulations to the 49ers for even making it there. Well, they also played a great game. It came down to <laughs> overtime. That's a great game. But all right, let's get into this little review of the Super Bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the commercials. Trash, and they've been trash for the past five or so years. So my here's my thing on it. Y'all save all this money every year to spend on Super Bowl commercials because it costs millions of dollars to get like a 15 or 30 second uh, commercial for the um, Super Bowl. Y'all take this money from y'all employees to actually do all the work that's like really the face of y'all company and y'all spend it on trash commercials like that? Like, y'all spend all y'all money, y'all hire these advertising people that don't know what they're doing, y'all are missing y'all target audience. And that's another thing I'm about to get into. Hold on, let me scoot up a little bit. That's another thing I'm about to get into in a second. But like, yeah, they've just been trash. But also, this is the part that they're missing. Y'all are missing y'all target audience. And all before I say anymore, this is my opinion, okay? So I feel like y'all are missing, they're missing their target audience. We live in a social media era, correct? How many young people did y'all see in any of those commercials? Hardly any. They had a bunch of older actors, older athletes that are retired, like y'all didn't like there wasn't even it was no like social media influencers that I know of. I'm pretty sure there's probably one or two maybe in a commercial, but for the most part, there wasn't any. Like there was nothing geared toward the younger or the next generation. So it's like who is the, like who are y'all trying to market and sell your product to? Y'all are missing the people that's coming up now making millions. On social media, like y'all are missing that. Like y'all, <laughs> and these are people that y'all hired with these degrees that are like advertising gurus. Like y'all spend millions of dollars a year to drop a commercial that we haven't seen an actor like one of these actors in this commercial has not been on the screen in like a decade or longer. And y'all are giving it to them. Jake from State Farm wasn't even in a State Farm commercial. Y'all put Arnold Schwarzenegger in a commercial. And no lie, I thought the man was dead. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all didn't even have Jake from State Farm in a State Farm commercial. Y'all didn't have your, like, most of the commercials didn't have the normal people in a commercial. And then with the commercials, they used to be funny. Like, the Doritos commercial used to be funny. I don't laugh at any commercials anymore. It's like, bruh. Like, what are y'all doing? This is the part where y'all gotta put young people in higher positions to help, to help like the older CEOs and the, the older higher ups. Like, put some younger people under you so they can help you connect with this generation that's coming up. They're not trying to take your spot. I promise you. They just, they just need, they need, y'all need the help from them to connect to who's coming up next. But that's just my opinion. Next, let's get into the game. It started off a little shaky, but they started to get their feet wet. It was, I mean, it's a couple of fumbles here and there from people that we did not expect that from, but. <laughs> 
It is what it is. It's football. It's a sport. It can happen any day. But I don't really want to talk about the game much. I just want to talk about the other stuff, the background stuff. Halftime performance. Great. I think some of the songs should have been longer because they're classics. But it was still a great performance. And I've seen some people on social media talk about how they didn't like the performance. Like, they gave Usher a 1 out of 10. I'm like, bro, y'all, the, the problem, like, my opinion on that is most of the people that said it, they're younger. So they don't really see people put on performances or shows anymore. Y'all just see one, like the main artist on stage with 50 to 100 people behind them just jumping around. Not even jumping around, just standing there smoking, drinking, and just pointing. One of them might have some money that's probably not even theirs, and they're just standing there. Like, this man had dancers, performers, this man changed outfits, he had other artists. Speaking of other artists, Jermaine Dupri. Don't ever wear that again. Don't ever wear anything remotely close to that again. You like a straight, clean cut fool. Like, what? This is the problem with, like, when you, when you get money and people question what you wear, but then they get mad when you say something only because it's name brand. Like, it's like Louis Vuitton or something. Like, you look trash. You're like a straight fool, sir. And then when Alicia Keys came out, everybody was talking about how Usher was hugging Alicia Keys. This man is a performer. You think Swiss Beat really care? When that check cleared, I bet you he didn't care. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's like, yeah, Jermaine Dupri, your outfit was trash. Uh, what else happened in the halftime show? But yeah, the classic should have been longer. And for Super for future Super Bowls coming along, they need to move the talking portion to another network. Because when the Super Bowl halftime show comes on, this is what people look forward to. This is what a lot of people look forward to in the like in the Super Bowl. Like when it comes down to the halftime show, most people won't watch the halftime show. They won't watch the preparation, they won't watch all that. They don't want to see y'all talk about the game. Just being honest. <laughs> Because if, watch this, if y'all move the talking portion to another network, y'all see the ratings go down because nobody wants to watch it. Even if you looked in the background while they were talking, nobody was going to the concession stand because they're waiting on the show to start. Because this is what, this is what they anticipate. This is what they look for every year from the Super Bowl. <laughs> what else? But yeah, that's, but yeah, that's just my take on the halftime show. It was a great performance in my opinion. And a lot of people haven't seen Usher perform in a long time. And when this economy, when the older artists come through, a lot of people can't afford <laughs> to see these artists perform. And a lot of people are putting their tickets on after pay, which is nothing wrong with that. But just make sure you can make the payments, okay? Because they will come after you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right. Let's move to the elephant in the room of the whole football season, Taylor Swift. It is what it is, man. It's marketing. Granted, they, they do probably love each other. But at the end of the day, it's marketing, y'all. It's marketing. <laughs> People were like big time hot over like them showing her a lot. The ratings go up. You think they care about what you think? When them ratings go up, their bank account go up. <laughs> so they gonna show her as much as they possibly can but not take away from the game at the same time Taylor Swift great artist she's a billion dollar artist net worth a billion dollars <laughs> you think she care about what y'all got to say but anyway y'all seen Ice Spice Ice Spice was in her booth hey Ice Spice <laughs> and don't, don't y'all go back telling my wife she watches this stuff too <laughs> she probably laugh at that too but overall, the Super Bowl was pretty good. It came down to this. Um, <clears throat> came down to overtime. Excuse me. Came down to overtime. Made some questionable calls. Some stuff. San Francisco did some stuff that was like kind of iffy. Like y'all were back off of them too much, in my opinion. Like y'all were backing off of Travis Kelsey. He was open too much for him, like to be like the main target of the offense. Like y'all know, in overtime. Nine times out of t- eight times out of ten, it's going to Travis Kelsey. And y'all were, y'all put a linebacker 
on Travis Kelsey. In my opinion, I would have bought an extra safety. One of my bigger safeties. Somebody could keep up. Because no offense, he's a great player, but Travis Kelsey would beat him off the line every time. Granted, I think he was a backup because our, let I me mean, not even say our because I'm not even a fan of them, but like number 51 Greenlaw, he got hurt. He probably tore his ACL or something, but he got hurt <laughs> cheering in the first half. What even on, well, he was on the field, but he wasn't on the field. He was about to go on the field and he possibly tore his ACL. And y'all, excuse the bags under my eyes. I don't get a lot of rest. I need to get rest. I got work today so but anyway that's just my personal take on the Super Bowl in this year you can take it or leave it I don't care <laughs> but last year was great uh even Reefa even Reefa sounded good seeing National Anthem I missed the Black National Anthem I think I was sleepy but yeah these Super Bowl commercials need to tighten up like it's been trash and if y'all not gonna spend, if y'all not, if y'all gonna keep putting on trash commercials, pay y'all employees better. Seriously, because y'all employees are the real face of your, of your companies. They go see y'all clients, y'all restaurants, every so whatever they do, whatever company it is, they go see those people face to face all the time. Y'all don't. Half the time, they don't know who you are. That's sad. But that's just my opinion on everything. Make sure I go below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share this video. Because I'm I'm gonna try to start putting out a video once a week on whatever happens. I'm gonna just be all the full content. It is what it is. I haven't been in the car community a lot lately since work and I just be tired. And it's kind of a little bit of a drive for where I live to go. So it is what it is. But alright, y'all, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Peace.